Hey, what's up guys? It's me, The Parking here, and welcome to another episode of Endgame Zerker. I've been doing so much skilling in the past week, and we're slowly, but surely, inching closer to 2k total. In this video, you will see some PvP clues, insane RNG on PvM and bossing progress, and much more. So sit back, sip on some Cerebrews, and enjoy! So guys, I've always wanted to finish the Varrock Elite Diaries, but I was never able to get 153 kudos. That was the maximum amount of kudos before, and to do that, I had to finish the quest What Lies Below. And this quest gives me 2k defense XP, which you all know I cannot do, because I won't be a Zerker anymore and my life will be ruined on RuneScape. So now that Fossil Island is out, the maximum amount of kudos you can get now is 225. So I collected a bunch of fossils already and I now have enough for 153 kudos. Do I just put it all on this one? Nice. 153 kudos. There we go boys. Varrock hard diaries done. Now I'm gonna go do the elite diaries. Alright, now what do I need for elite diaries? I need... To boost to make a super combat, I could definitely do that. Use the Lunar Spellbook to make 20 Mahogany Planks at the Lumberyard. I could do that after I do Dream Mentor, so I have to do that quest now. And this should be stage 20, two more steps to go. Baker Summer Pie, I need I think 90 cooking, I'm, I'm gonna work on 90 to get a boost. And Smith uh, 10 Rune Darts within Varrock. There we go, 90 cooking. Now all we need is a plus 5 boost on cooking and a plus 4 on smithing. And then we're done, the Varrock Elite Diaries. So both cooking and smithing uses an orange spice, so I'm gonna boost and whichever comes first I'm gonna do first because it's just much more efficient. Oh, 90. I just got 90 uh, fletching. Go do the fletching one first, come on. Hope I make it in time, I just gotta smith this rune bar really really quick. Beautiful and beautiful. Now all I need is the cooking and I'm done the Varrock Elite Diaries. Pretty damn exciting. 95 right there, right there. We got it, we got it. Cook, cook. Nice. Varrock Elite Diaries complete. Let's go get my um, Varrock Armor 4. And... And let's get that juicy 50k XP lamp as well. How's it going, Toby? Very, very nice. Varrock Armor 4. Let's just see what this looks like. Very nice. I did 4 Elite Diaries now. Fremenic, Varrock, Wilderness, and RD4s. That is so sick, man. I'm really happy with this. And by doing the Varrock Elite Diaries 4, I actually could buy 120 Battle Staffs from Zaf every single day. And let's see how much money I can make in one buy. So 840k. Now let's go sell us at the GE and see how much profit we can make per day. Alright, now we're at the GE. We bought this for 840k, let's just insta sell it. So 1,033,000, that's about 190,000 a day and that equates to about 70 mil a year, so yeah, absolute bank. Hey, Kraken Tentacle, now let's go put on my Rune Longsword. And we got a tentacle longsword. Hey, look, I got a Kraken tentacle. Nice, nice. Trident of the Sea full. That's the drop we're looking for, man. That's the drop we're looking for. One mil in the bank. Nice. Trident of the Sea full. I just can't get over how good Kraken is, like, as a moneymaker and how AFK it is, like, compared to, like, Zora or Demonic Gorillas. Like Kraken, you don't even have to do anything. You just attack these uh, four pools on the side, and then you just mage the middle, get your loot at the end, and just do it all over again. Yes, boys! Primordial Crystal. Nice, still 100 on task. Really, really happy with this. Man, I seem to be getting so many of these lately, and I really need it to afford my own Twisted Bow soon here in the future. Oh my goodness. Purgation Crystal's next drop? <laughs> what is this, dude? Oh yes, God's Word Shard. 
Lol. There we go, Vandal's Hill. <laughs> Lol. Lol. So we did about seven bandos trips and got a bunch of rare drops like a longbone, rune sword, rune square shield, and I even get myself a champion scroll. I just got a fucking champion scroll. Oh really? What? That's one in five k. That could have that actually could have been like minion tacits or something. And then we actually got a bandos item. Yeah, we got bandos boots. Maybe Kriara will be a little bit more generous. And now for the clue scroll that we've gotten from Bandos, that will make up for all the shit we've gotten, come on. F oh my goodness, rune square shield again? The rune square shield curse is real? Oh my goodness, there we go, armadillo hilt boys, armadillo hilt, sick. Here we go, homemade AGS, fresh from Kriara's ass. But bam, all the regular loot, absolute ass, but the AGS will make up for it. Just get it for 23 mil, how about that? Nice, 23.5 mil, now we're gonna split it. Oh my god, Dragon Medhelm and a hard clue in the same drop? That could have been pet, but I already have that pet, so yeah. Rune Square Shield, like what the hell? Getting all the weird ass drops right now. All the weird ass drops. Ooh, Dragon Axe. Cool. Ooh, Sears Ring. Yes, there we go. Archer's Ring. Sears Ring, Archer Ring. 3.6 mil. The Clue Scroll from the Dagonis. Let's go! Peaceful Blessing. Murr. All right then. Yes, another archer's ring. Very, very nice. Best drop here, honestly, except for pet. That is, I want the pets. A dragon stone. A hundred silver ore. All right then. What do DKs only drop archer's rings for me or what? I've been getting so many archer's ring lately. Seriously. Very nice though, archer's ring. That's like two point six mil in the bank. Oh my Jesus. Oh my goodness, next drop Berserker Ring. Look at this back to back, man. Oh my goodness, this is so sick, dude. There we go, the last kill of the trip. Now let's go teleport to my house real quick. Let's get a massive price check on this. I already know it's going to be good. I'm already happy with the trip as it is already. I still have 44 on task. Degneth Bones, oh, that's a free 1.2 mil just because of the friendly elites. I can't get over how good that is. Archer's Ring. 2.6 mil, Zerker Ring, 2.6 mil pretty much, and our total is 6.6 mil. That is so good, guys. That is really good. Kings, let's go. Oh my goodness, Ancient Plate Body. Nice, another Archer's Ring. Really happy with that. This task is going well so far. Two Archer's Ring and one Berserker Ring. 3.5 mil, so the whole task was about, I don't know, 10 mil. Just under 10 mil, but that's really good for one Dagna task for sure. Easy. Look at that loot. 300k? Oh, from the anchor. Right, 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 right. Oh my goodness, this level 92 is free loot. Oh my god. I had to spec him quick before he tell you, you know what I mean? <laughs> EGS is so cheap, dude. Oh, glory and shit? Dragon Javelins, anti peak here for sure. Dragon Jab. Three. Come on, mate. 
Oh, you can kill me with three. You run out like before you even know. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm still going for 100,000 Snapdragon Potions unfinished. I still have to put these into vials, but let's get a quick price check here. Ba bam ba bam 201 mil. When we get 100,000, it's going to be about 770 mil. They used to be 10k each, but they're not anymore because of Ultra Combos. It would have been a bill, but you know, still, I'm still going for that goal. Oh my goodness, first time killing this Gargoyle boss. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. So guys, the Gargoyle boss is not the best money maker in the game. A lot of people are complaining about like Buffett's drop table and stuff, but it's only a level 75 Slayer requirement. And I just think this boss is really cool overall, like the mechanics and everything. Really, really cool boss. And the only drop I want here is... Dragon Medhelm? Please don't tell me that's rare. Yeah, it's definitely not that Dragon Medhelm I'm going after. Can you guys guess what it is? Yup, it's the Gargoyle Pet. I have all the Slayer Pets already. I just need the Gargoyle Pet to complete my collection. So I'm going to go for the pet in the near future. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave me a like. I'd appreciate you a lot. Have a nice day and don't forget to pay your meter.